Welcome back everybody, this is Monsters of Folklore. Today, we're going to be talking about something pretty interesting. Have you ever heard of the Black Shuck? We will get into pretty much what it is. Now, there's a lot on the Black Shuck, like different sightings and famous stories and things like that. So I'm going to save those for like a separate video. This is pretty much going to be what this bizarre dog is. And here we go. The Black Shuck is the name given to an unknown beast that is said to roam in East Anglia. The Black Shuck is one of many ghostly black dogs recorded across the British Isles. The sighting in Bungay and Blithburg is a particular famous account of this beast, and images of the black sinister dogs have become part of the iconography of the area. Sometimes it's documented as an omen of death, and on occasions sometimes a more companionable animal. The Black Shuck is classified as a cryptid. Now, according to folklore, the specter haunts the landscapes of East Anglia, primarily coastline, graveyards, and various roads, and bodies of water in the darker parts of the forest. For centuries, inhabitants of England have told tales of a large black dog with malevolent flaming eyes, and in some cases, the legend says they only have a single eye in the center. That is red, or sometimes can be green. Now these eyes are described as being like saucers, so they're pretty big. In some accounts, it only has one eye, which is in the middle of its forehead like a cyclops. There are varying accounts of the black shuck's appearance, especially the size. According to reports, the beast varies in size and stature from that of a simply a large dog, or that size of a calf, or even a horse. Sometimes black shucks are recorded as having appeared headless, and at other times as floating on a carpet of mist. However, it is generally described as about the size of a mastiff, with shaggy black fur and glowing red eyes, so it's still very large. Many suggest that this creature originated, or at least became more well known, from the Sherlock Holmes novel The Hound of the Bakersvilles by Sir Conan Doyle. Dr. Simon Sherwood suggests that the earliest surviving description of the devilish black hounds is an account of an incident in the Peterborough Abbey recorded in the Peterborough Chronicle, one of the Anglo-Saxon chronicles, around 1127. This account also appears to describe the Europe-wild phenomenon of a wild hunt. So the Black Shuck, it is pretty interesting that people do think there could be like some kind of strange, you know, black haunted dog running around. It would be creepy. Have you ever heard of the uh, Black Shucks? I only heard myself, I've heard a name mentioned like once or twice, but I can't remember where I heard it from. But if you enjoy the video, you let me know what you think about them. I will be doing another video on the Black Shucks, detailing the, like the various encounters and sightings, things like that, because there's, I don't like to make my videos too long. And I've got to mention also, uh, people have been making suggestions of things they would like to see me do. I do have a list of particular ones that people have requested. I will do them. It's just right now during this pandemic and you junk like that, I've had to work a whole lot extra. So trying to get a video in, you know, when I can is pretty tricky. And I currently have a list of things that I want to cover. But for the people who have recommended things, I will be getting to them. You know, don't worry. But this is Monsters Folklore. If you enjoyed the video, let me know. Have you ever heard of the Black Shuck? If you have, you know, give me your opinion of it. Uh, like the video, share it with your friends. Thanks for watching, I'll see you later.